Hello, hello, good evening. Hello, hello. Hello, good evening. Good evening. How are you today? Good evening. Excellent. Thank you. Very good. Welcome, welcome. I'm happy to see you, everyone. Good How evening, was teacher. Good evening. Welcome, welcome. Thank you for being on time. And thank you for the camera on. I'm happy to see you, everyone. How was your day? Uh huh. How was your day? Stressed, but but okay. <laughs> okay, and the rest Fine. of you? Uh huh. Celia, how was your day? Fine. <laughs> okay, very good. So today is Thursday, so we are about to finish the first week. Imagine, so time flies, everyone. So when, uh, remember every Friday, I'm going to upgrade the scores of platform. Some of you already finished um, the week number one, so that's super good but some of you haven't finished. So remember tomorrow I need to upgrade the platform. So please work, work on the platform, everyone. And if you have issues with some of the exercise, please let me know. The mistakes that appears, um, the ones that you mentioned, I already uh, reported it, okay? So I hope that they can fix it soon. All right, so I already uh, reported it. Now, do you remember what was the topic that we studied yesterday? Uh-huh. Oh my gosh. They used uh, the scenes. Uh-huh. Or? Yes. From two. Mm -hmm. And I don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but yeah, those are good. Very good, Edwin. Uh huh. And the rest of you? What are the others? What else do you remember from yesterday? Only Edwin remembers. Uh huh. All right. Time expressions, okay? That was the topic of yesterday. And as Edwin said, we studied those uh, phrases. And today we are going to try to review a little bit more, okay? So please, if you have a question, if there is something that is not clear yet, tell me so I can explain again, okay? So, welcome everybody for the ones that just entered. Welcome to the class. Thank you for the cameras on. I'm happy to see you. Very good. I'm going to start sharing the presentation. Can everybody see the presentation? Yes, yes, me. yes. yes? excellent. So, today is February 2nd and this was the topic that we studied yesterday, time expressions. As Edwin says, right, we studied for, from, to, since, right, until, then. So we studied a lot of, uh, of some of the most common ones, okay? So let's review. Let's see, how can I use for, do you remember? How can I use for or when? Period, different, uh, different period. Okay. Para un periodo definido, sería. Ah, a specific period of time. Yes, a specific period. All right, okay. So everybody, could you give me an example? I study my career for five years. Very good. That's a very good example. Excellent. So exactly, for 
remember, we use for when we give a specific period of time. I mean, I'm talking about how long the action lasts. And as your classmate says, for example, um, five years, two hours, five days, two months, six weeks. So those are period of time, okay? What is the difference with since? How can I use since? Desde un punto en el tiempo. Very good. This is a specific point, right? Exactly. Mm -hmm. So basically is when the action started. Can you give me an example, everyone? Um, I have worked the in twenty point five. Okay, I could barely hear you. Can you repeat it again? I have worked in the sing sing uh, twenty point five. All right, yes. So imagine in this case. He's not giving the period of time. He's telling us when the action started. Very good. So is it clear, everybody, the difference between for and since? Clear? Yes? If you have questions, please yes, no, let me no, know. No. Everything clear. OK. Now, how can I use from let's see anybody do you remember how can i use from when this place okay uh, uh, start and end the activity that that's the one exactly from is when we explain when the action begins and when the action ends so let's see i need a volunteer can you give me an example using from only one please uh-huh Mm -hmm. Can you tell me um, what is the time or the schedule for this class? What time is the English class? From 8 uh -huh. p.m. to 10 p.m. Perfect, exactly. So if you see, we are saying when the action the action starts and when the action ends so that's the way that we can use from very good job now how can i use then uh-huh do you remember then how can i use it When continue with another activity. Uh -huh, very good. So imagine that you have two actions and you want to connect the two actions. So we use then. Can you give me an example? Anyone? Do you remember an example using then? Finish the class English, then I work in workbook. Very good. That's correct. So if you see, we have two actions and we are connecting the actions using then. Very good job. Now, the last time expressions that we studied yesterday was until. So, do you remember how can I use that one? 
until when I uh, um, finish an activity, a specific activity. Very good. Look, remember that until is basically the opposite of since. Since is when you want to say when the action starts. And until is when the action finished. All right. So can you give me an example using until? Anyone? I'm living in Santa Ana from 1982 until when? Oh, oh. All right, it sounds good. That's great. If you see, she mentioned when the action finished. Very good job. And as your classmate did, we can combine. We can use from, with, until. Super good job. So those are the expressions of times that we studied yesterday. Do you have a question, everyone? about this topic? Any question? No, teacher. No? Okay. Well, if you don't have questions, we will continue with the practice. But before that, I'm going to check attendance, okay? So mm -hmm. listen to your names, say present. Abigail Mejia? Present. Okay, Andrea Amalia Garcia. Atilio Ernesto Castillo. Present. Okay, Blanca Elizabeth Hernandez. Um, Carlos Alberto Castro. Present, Miss. Right. Celia Cristina. Present. All right, Hector Ivan. Henry Alberto Perez. Here I am, teacher. All right, Jorge Antonio. Jorge Antonio. Okay. Jorge Jonathan. Jorge Jonathan. Jose Ezequiel Guzman. Present, teacher. All right, Juan Antonio Elias. Present teacher. Thank you, Juan Jose Herrera. Present teacher. Thank you. Um, let's see, let's see, Karen Rocio. Present. Okay, Carla Sofia. Present. Okay, Carol Elizabeth. Carol Elizabeth. All right, um, let's see, let's see. Kenya Elizabeth. Present teacher. Okay, Lady Xiomara. Present teacher. Okay, Luis Miguel. Present teacher. Thank you. Nelson Orlando. Presente. Nelson, yes. Presente, presente. Ah, okay, thank you. Um, Salvador Ernesto. Okay, Sandra Abigail Bonilla. Present. Thank you. Stephanie Michel. Present teacher. All right, Jan Siquelita. Present teacher. Excellent. Um, let's see, let's see, Jose Marvin. Okay, Edwin Enrique. Present here. Excellent, very good. Okay, let's continue. Yesterday, before, well, at the end of the class, we practiced these questions with your classmates. So let's see, I'm going to ask randomly these questions to some of you. I want to listen to your answers. And remember that the idea is to use the 
expressions of time. So let me pick someone. Dun, 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 dun. And I'm going to ask to Jose Ezequiel. Okay, Jose Ezequiel, tell me, how long do you want to live and why? Could you repeat that question again, please? Sure. How long do you want to live and why? Um, well, I would like to live forever. <laughs> <laughs> All right, why? Um, uh, I, I love the life. Okay. Very good, very good. Nice. Um, can you pick one of your classmates, please? Uh, okay, let me see here. Perfect. Inmediata mismo. All right. Um, Mr. Juanjo. Juanjo. <laughs> Así es. Okay. Okay, so question number two. How long would you like to study English? I would like to study English for one year more. All right, very good, very good. Can you pick one of your classmates, please? Okay. Abigail Bonilla. Okay, Abigail, can you answer? Mm, because I know I that you are listener. <laughs> okay, uh, how long have you worked in your company? I work in my company, no, my um, Since 2021. All right, very good. Can you pick one of your classmates, please? The same question. No, just pick one. Pick someone. Me mm, Tukaya. Okay. Tukaya, please. Are you there? Okay. All right. Next question. How long did you sleep last night? I sleep for five hours. All right, for five hours, that is few. <laughs> All right, okay, very good, very good. So that's the idea. If you see, you are answering using time expressions. Now, remember that you are in the level six, okay? So every time that you answer a question, try to give me details okay so imagine if i say um well the last question how long did you sleep last night ah i slept for five hours because and you start giving me details okay that's the idea always always please try to give me as many details as possible now we are going to practice we already practice a little bit a uh, to remember and I want you to practice listening okay this listening is very short and is very easy I want you to listen to these conversations and I want you to complete the chart for example in the first column you will see the name then there is the option in job. So the first person is Daniel. Listen to the conversation and you have to tell me what is his job. If you listen that he says, um, I'm a doctor, for example. Okay, you have to write doctor. If he says, no, eh, I work as a teacher. Okay, you have to write teacher. So you have to write the occupation. Then pay a lot of attention in how long have they worked. So you have to complete using since or for. If you listened that the person says for, okay, you have to use for. 
and then complete for six months, for example, or for one year. I don't know. So you have to complete the chart using since or for. Is it clear the activity, everyone? So please complete the information in your notebooks. I'm going to play the audio. As I said, the audio is, is very simple, it's very short, but pay a lot of attention, okay? Give me one second, let me open up the audio. Let's see, let's see. Okay, here we go. If you cannot listen to the audio, please let me know. Student book, unit eight, lesson three. Can you listen to the audio? Yes? Yes, me. Yeah. Yes. yes, okay, thank you. Okay, here we go. Activity A, listen and fill in the chart. One. What's your job, Daniel? I work for Disney. I've been an Imagineer since 1998. An Imagineer? What's that? Imagineer is a special Disney word. It's a combination of engineer and imagination. Thousands of Imagineers work for Disney in 140 different areas, including artists, architects, engineers, writers, gardeners, designers, and carpenters. What kind of Imagineer are you? I design new rides for Disney. Disney pays me to use my imagination. It's really fun. Two. What's your job, Mari? I'm a chocolate taster. Someone pays you to eat chocolate? That's right. A few months ago, I saw an advertisement for a job as a chocolate taster. I applied for the job and I got it. Now I work for a department store in New York. I travel all around the world to buy the best chocolate for the store. Do you ever get tired of eating chocolate? Well, I've only had this job for six months, so I'm not tired of it yet. I've loved chocolate since I was a little girl, and I still love it. Three. What's your job, Thomas? I'm a video game tester. I play the new games and look for problems. How did you get that job? I've been interested in video games since I was a young boy. I always played for hours. Then I studied about computers. It sounds like a dream job. Do you like it? Yeah, but it's not always fun. Basically, I try to cause problems. When I find a problem, I have to write a long report about it so that the computer programmers can fix it. How long have you had this job? I've worked here about three years. Next year, I'll probably look for a new job. I'd like to be a video game designer. All right, everyone, I'm going to play the audio again so you can check your answers, okay? Pay a lot of attention. Student book, unit eight, lesson three, activity A. Listen and fill in the chart. One. What's your job, Daniel? I work for Disney. I've been an Imagineer since 1998. An Imagineer? What's that? Imagineer is a special Disney word. It's a combination of engineer and imagination. Thousands of Imagineers work for Disney in 140 different areas including artists, architects, engineers, writers, gardeners, designers, and carpenters. What kind of Imagineer are you? I design new rides for Disney. Disney pays me to use my imagination. It's really fun. Two. What's your job, Mari? I'm a chocolate taster. Someone pays you to eat chocolate? That's right. A few months ago, I saw an advertisement for a job as a chocolate taster. I applied for the job and I got it. Now I work for a department store in New York. I travel all around the world to buy the best chocolate for the store. Do you ever get tired of eating chocolate? Well, I've only had this job for six months, so I'm not tired of it yet. I've loved chocolate since I was a little girl, and I still love it. Three. What's your job, Thomas? 
I'm a video game tester. I play the new games and look for problems. How did you get that job? I've been interested in video games since I was a young boy. I always played for hours. Then I studied about computers. It sounds like a dream job. Do you like it? Yeah, but it's not always fun. Basically, I try to cause problems. When I find a problem, I have to write a long report about it so that the computer programmers can fix it. How long have you had this job? I've worked here about three years. Next year, I'll probably look for a new job. I'd like to be a video game designer. Okay. Everybody, do you have the answers? Daniel uh, is an imagineer. All right, imagineer. Uh, imagineer uh, something about engineer and imagination. Exactly. Uh, uh, he I'm I'm sorry? Okay, how long? How long has Daniel been working for that company? Since years. Uh, All right. So does everybody got the same answers? Yes. Yes? Exactly. Yes. Very good job. So what is the time expressions that Daniel used for or since? Since. Since. Very good job. Very good job. So would you like to have his job? An imagineer? So, so it's the best uh, 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 video game tester. Ah, that sounds much better for you. Okay. Now, how about Mary? What was her job? She is a chocolate tester for six months ago. Very good. Chocolate taster. Would you like to be a chocolate taster, everyone? Yes or not? It's my hobby. <laughs> yeah, that's your job. Do you like chocolates, everyone? Yes. <laughs> yes, right, me too. So how long has, he, uh, has she been working here? Six months. Exactly. Six months. Very good. For six, six months. months. If you see, we are using the time expression for. Uh, be careful with the microphones, please. Thank you. And the last one, Thomas. What is his job? Thomas is a lucky man. <laughs> He's video game tester. Very good. Okay. Would you like? Would you like to be a video game taster? Yes. Yes. I'll link you the books and and no uh, and report the problems. <laughs> I am a first uh, person of uh, play this game. He's a lucky man. <laughs> yeah, actually, it sounds kind of fun, especially if you like video games, right? So how long has he been working as a video game taster? For three years. Very good. So he used one phrase that is for about, and then he says three years. So about. We can use this phrase when we want to give approximately, okay? We don't say exactly the time, so we can use about. For example, if I ask you, how long have you been studying English? You can say, mm, for about six months, okay? That is like, approximately six months, okay? So you can include the phrase about, okay? Very good. How did you feel listening? Was it easy or difficult? Or 50-50, mm, what do you think? More or less. More or less, okay. And the rest of you, everyone? <laughs> Very good. 
So listen, for some of you, speaking is very easy. For some of you, listening is easier. So the ones that you feel more difficult, that is the ones that you need to practice more, okay? Very good. Now we already practiced this topic. I hope nobody got questions. Now let's start with the topic of today. Filling out a job application form. When you apply for a job, what do you need to do? Do you need to fill an application? Have you ever done this before? To fill out a job application? Yes? No, never? Okay, if you have never done that, today we are going to learn how to do it in English, of course. So this is the class objective. I need a volunteer for reading, please. Me. Thank you, go ahead. Class objective. objective. At the end of the class, participants they will be able to ask and answer questions providing providing specific providing specific information related to work as experience thank you very good so that is exactly what i want you to do in this class that you can answer and ask questions about work experience and that you can provide a specific information. What can be a specific information? Let's start with personal information. If I want to know the name of a person, what is the question that I need to ask? What's I need to Good job. What's your name? Okay, imagine the look at the picture. So what is the name here? What's her name? Lynette Harrison. Lynette H. Harrison. That's Harrison. the one. Lynette H. Harrison. So imagine, imagine that I am writing the information of this person and I'm not sure how um, Lynette stands for, I don't know how to write that name. So I need her to spell it. How can I ask that? No. Uh huh. Why? I need... Okay, but, but what is the question? Uh, what is the question? Uh. How can I ask? to the person to spell the name. Ajá. Uh -huh. ¿Cómo le pido a esa persona que me deletre el name? How can I ask her? Can you spell your name, please? That's the one, very good. Can you spell your name, please? So be careful with this question. So the first question is, What's your name? Okay, then can you spell your name? Or can you spell your last name, right? It depends. Okay, volunteer, can you spell her name, please, Lynette? And why? N E T T E H H A R R River. R, yes. R I X X O N. That's good. Very nice job. Excellent. So, what happens? Imagine in this case we have double letters. So, Something easy, instead of saying T, T, 
we can say double T or double R, okay? Very good. Now, what is the next information that I need? Phone number, how can I ask for the phone number? What is, what your, is phone your phone number? Very good. So if you see, I have here the telephone and the mobile, but I need just the telephone. How can I give telephone numbers in English? Uh-huh, can you give me her telephone number? Six, six, two, eight, eight, two, 20, 27. Good, thank you. So imagine in English to provide a telephone number actually is very simple because you can say just one by one, exactly as your classmate did. 662, 882, and so on and so on. So you give the telephone number one by one. Very good. Okay. I have another question. I need the date of birth. So how can I ask that? What is your birthday? What is when, your birthday? Ah, when is your birthday? birthday? When, that's the one. When is your birthday? Okay, when? can you tell me when is her birthday? Uh-huh. When is her birthday? Okay, remember that in English, first is the month. September 16th, mm -hmm. 1992. Correct, excellent job. So remember, first is month. Then remember, when we say the year, we need to say the year two and two, 1992, okay? This is a topic that I know that you already know, but we are going to practice a little bit. I know that if I say, hey, what is your name? Ah, uh, my name is Anna. Okay, in Spanish, it's very easy to write it. You don't need to ask for spelling, right? We're going to have a practice. I want you to ask your classmates their name, phone number, and date of birth. Okay, simple. That's all the information that I want you to ask. Name, phone number, and date of birth. Okay, but you are not going to say your own name. I want you to generate a fake name, okay? Here in this website, you can generate a fake profile. For example, you just need to click here, female, and generates and I have here look what is her name can you see it Mary D is very good a little complicated right so Marie D Scribner so if you cannot Imagine your classmate will say, okay, what's your name? Ah, Marie D. Scribner. And you are like, what? Can you spell your last name? So your classmate has to spell it, okay? Then you will ask the telephone number and the birthday. Important. And I'm going to explain this in Spanish to be clear. No quiero que compartan pantalla, okay? Porque la idea es que su classmate no vea esta información. Yo quiero que su classmate 
escuche la información que ustedes le están dando. Así que si su classmate dice, hey, ¿cómo se escribe Mary? O ¿cómo se escribe Scribner? Su classmate les tiene que preguntar, Can you spell your name? Can you spell your last name? Ok, así que no compartan pantalla para que su classmate no vea la información. Cuando hayan terminado de dar la información, ustedes confirman con su classmate para ver si lo copiaron bien o no. La pueden enviar en el chat ahí de los breaking rooms. Y su classmate les va a decir si la información estaba correcta o no. Luego, switch. Cambian. ¿Ok? Y la otra persona hace las questions y su classmate escribe. So, the idea, everybody, is to practice asking questions, but also listening. ¿Se entiende la activity? Yes, everyone? Yes. Yes? Ok. I'm going to send the link. So in this moment, everybody, please generate a fake name. I'm going to send the link on WhatsApp's group, but also I'm going to send it here in the chat of Zoom. So everybody open the link and generate a fake name. The boys, of course, generate a male name and the girls a female name. Go ahead, I'm going to give you two minutes to generate the name. Is everybody ready? Yes. Did everybody generate the name? Yes. Yes? Okay. Now, let's go and work in teams. Okay, so remember, what is the information that I need? I need the name, I need the phone number, and I need the birth date. So please, everybody, I don't want to listen to Spanish. I don't want to listen to say, La letra E, ah, la R, la S. No, please. Full yes. English. If your classmate doesn't understand, it's like, no te entiendo. Ah, uh ah, -uh, I'm sorry. So repeat. Can you repeat, please? Y si su classmate va muy rápido, can you repeat slowly, please? Okay. So the idea is full English in this moment. Okay. Let's go to work, everybody. Please. Everybody participate. Let's go. I'm fine. Uh -oh. How are you? Very, very fine. And you? All paper is nice. Why this paper is nice? <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Okay. I have my fake um my fake person. Okay. Uh, and you? You have your fake yes. person? Yes, I have my fake. My okay. fake identity. <laughs> my fake ID. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I'm going to ask you uh, some things. Hello, what is your name? Hello, my name is Steven Mohamed. Are you Taliban? <laughs> <laughs> okay, can you respond? Ezekiel, you are alone. Yes, teacher. That's yeah. the reason. <laughs> what happens is your classmate didn't join. Don't worry, I'm going to join you to another team, okay? Okay, teacher, thank you. Yeah. You're very welcome. Give me one second. I'm going to join you to the team number five. Okay. Okay, here we go. Para comienzo. 
Pagué. Teacher. Yes. Teacher. Yes. Vamos a, des a decir, vamos a buscar un perfil y ese perfil nosotros lo vamos a decir o vamos a hablar acerca de nosotras. No, tienen que generar el perfil. So, because oh, okay. imagine, si Karen le pregunta, what's your name? Ah, Abigail Bonilla. Ah, very easy, right? Fácil de escribirlo. So, the uh -huh. idea is to generate a fake name. Traten de generar un nombre falso. Entre más difícil, much better. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay. Go ahead. No. Uh, what's your name? Currently, our bishop. Can you spell your name? Mm, R. Espacio. Mm. B. Mm. I. La R la salita. Mm -hmm. Ah, no, no, Spanish. You can <laughs> say R, space, and then continue. Uh -huh. Ah, okay. B I S H O P And what uh, your last name? Last name? Uh, <laughs> I think you asked me the name. The name is Caro. Ahí está. C A R O L Y N. Repeat, please. C A nineteen eighty seven. Okay. Okay. Can then, you can you see this correct uh, or the, the correct that uh, if the date is a correct? Can you I share in this chat? Uh, yes. Uh, no, uh, the month the month is November. Ah, oh, okay. Yes, information is correct. Ready. Okay, uh, how about you? What's your name? My name is Ronald P. Spurgeon. Uh, can you spell your <laughs> your own your last name? Uh, uh, no, todo, todo no. Okay. <laughs> okay. My name is Ronald. Ah, okay. Like a Ronald McDonald. Ronald. Ronald P. Okay. Spurgeon. Can you spell your last name? Sure. S P U R G E O N. Repeat, please. SP is S P U R G E O N. Okay. Uh, and what your telephone number? It's a uh, Give me a moment. <clears throat> Telephone number. 
two six seven to get uh, information. Yeah, and uh, then you talk about with Stephanie, and you talk about uh, three three items. Um, your fake names, your phone number, and your birthday. You create That's like an avatar. Sorry? Uh, that is la like an avatar? No, no. Uh, you create the profile with a link in, in the chat. You don't know the link? Yes, here is it, but after that, Mm, yeah, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. you create a profile, a uh, profile, sorry, and uh, then when you uh, get the information, you talk about with Stephanie and you uh, talk about for these items. But where do I have to, to type that information? Because... For example, um, uh, the gender, you you type mail, then you uh, type um, a date and submit. Okay. Um, uh, I can't say uh, my name, my fake name. Mm -hmm. Okay. Ay, se me perdió. Ok. Um, my birthday is uh, 90. Tengo problemas con los números serios. <ríe> is a. Uh, quiero ver. 90. 99. 7. Eh, quiero ver. 76. And that's your, your, your birthday. Yes. It's a 12, 20, 20, 21. In the year is 19, it's seven, Spanish, Spanish. I'm sorry. <laughs> that's <Okay>. Spanish. <laughs> yes. Okay. Remember, when you say the birthday, try to say the month. So you can say, for example, ah, December 15, 1998, for example. Okay. <laughs> Mention the month so your classmate can understand easily, okay? Okay. Thanks. Uh, it's uh, December, yes. 2021, 20, uh, 90, good. One night seven and six. <laughs> it's a difficult say a complete number. <laughs> Don't worry, miss. We're learning. Thanks. Um my name is Robert K. Manning. Okay. And my race is a Hispanic. Is a? Hispanic. Spanish. Hispanic. Uh, is a, a Latin. Um, uh, you ver? Your race. Yes, my race. Um, like, you, 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 I, uh, remember that's that's extra information i mean super good just remember the information that i'm asking is name telephone number and birthday okay yes so provide a telephone number telephone number okay my telephone number is a uh, seven four zero six nine nine three two six two is my telephone number. Okay, so Stephanie gave the number, the birthday, and the name. So everybody send her the information in the chat. 
and she will see if the information that you have is correct or not. Uh huh. Somebody send the information here in the chat to see if you got the correct name, the correct Teacher. birthday. Uh huh. Uh, I'm still have no understand about the fake. Um... Oh, the fake information. Yes. Okay, listen, the idea is this. Si yo les pregunto a ustedes, por ejemplo, Carla, what's your name? Carla va a decir, ah, Carla Chévez. ¿Les va a costar escribir ese nombre? No, totally easy. Pero si ustedes generan un perfil eh, falso con el link que les mandé, los nombres que aparecen ahí son difíciles. Right? That's the idea. Por eso es que quiero que generen el perfil falso. All right. Entonces, por ejemplo, la información que dio Stephanie no es la información de ella, sino que del perfil falso. Entonces, that's the idea. Que ustedes puedan ser capaces de copiar el nombre que ella les dé por más raro que suene. Ok. Luego, para confirmar si la oración o la información que ustedes copiaron estaba correcta o no, pueden enviársela en el chat. Ok. Y ella les va a decir si está correcta o no. So, let's see. A ver, ¿quién copió el nombre que dijo Stephanie? Send it in the chat. And Stephanie will say if it is correct or not. Okay. Okay. Okay, let's see. Um, while she was talking, um, <laughs> <laughs> I was okay. trying to... I was trying to use this, this link. Ah, uh, okay. Look at this. Uh, Carla sent Robert K. So, Stephanie, is that correct? Is that the yes. correct name? Okay. Very good, Carla. All right. How about the birthday? What was her birthday? I was a little bit confused with the birthday, um. so... December 21, I think it was 22. 21, okay. And the year? Oh, no, no. Ah, give me a card. <laughs> okay, look, December 21, 19 something. <laughs> yes, okay. how to help. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so far so good. Okay. So you have two more minutes. I need somebody else. Somebody else who has the fake profile and give the information. Who wants to continue? Oh, ya todos participaron? Jose. No. <laughs> ah, okay. So Jose, ya hizo su perfil? Or not yet? Okay, si no, Carla, usted ya brindó su información. Yes, but I can't repeat. <laughs> All right, if you want to practice. Tienen dos minutos. I'm going to check another team and then we are going to go back to the main room. Okay? Okay. Very good. I is. Uh -huh. Okay. Okay. Y what is the city state Los Angeles California Okay 90017 90017 Teacher okay. finish. Okay. <laughs> uh, how was it? More was information. It ah, very good. So, easy or difficult? So, so. All right. Spanish or full English? Full English. That's the attitude. Excellent job. Okay, let's go back to the main room, okay? Okay. Very good. Okay. All right, time's up, time's up. Okay, we are going to wait for everyone. 
All right, all right. Interesting practice. How was the practice, everyone? It was easy or difficult? Uh huh. Easy or difficult? Uh, a little bit difficult in the spelling is the 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 most important, and when I have more uh, issues to to listen very well, the the last name or the middle name. Uh huh. Very good. So I know that if I say, ah, my name is Clarissa, that's very easy for you to write it. Ah, my name is, uh, my last name is Rivera. Ah, easy. Because it's a Spanish name. But what happens when we listen? I was listening some of you saying some very, very complicated names. So that's what we need. Sometimes you will talk in English with people with weird names. And imagine if you need to write it, you need to ask for the spelling. And very interesting spellings. Un Spanglish que estaba escuchando en algunos grupos. Oh, my goodness. S, R, R. Oh, my gosh. So, everybody, be careful. Remember that spelling is something that we need to practice every day. Okay? Ah, no, si es que yo ya no estoy en el nivel uno. It doesn't matter. You have to practice every day, no matter the level, okay? Sometimes he visto personas en intermediate con problemas de spelling. That's not possible. Así que yo no quiero que ustedes lleguen al intermediate and saying like eh, R or eh, L, L. No, all right? So be careful with the spellings. Now, super good because I was uh, in some groups full English. So some groups were doing a big effort. I was checking some groups. They send the information in the chat. So confirming that the information was correct. Nice job. Now, little details that we need to keep in mind. I was listening in some groups this phrase. Quiero ver. That was a very common phrase in different groups. And this is Spanish. How can I say this in English? Because remember, quiero ver. Let me, let me see. I want to see. see. I want to see. Okay, listen. I want to see. Eso es como muy literal, right? And remember that in Spanish, we use this phrase when we need to think, right? Mm. Look at this. Well, let's see. That's a good one. Let's see. Look, imagine in, oops, sorry. Let's see. ¿Por qué usamos let's see? Porque remember, quiero ver, estamos usando esta frase para pensar, para tener un poquito de tiempo para pensar. Right? So you can say, let's see. Let me think. Okay. Those are the phrases that you can use instead of quiero ver, okay? So never again quiero ver. I don't want to listen to you saying quiero ver, please. Never, okay? So you can say let's see or let me think. Now, look at this year. Por ahí escuché este año. 99, 76, wow. <laughs> interesting year how can i say this one be careful because there is a difference between this one versus this one what is the pronunciation of this number 19 very good and this one 99 99 so sometimes instead of saying 19 some groups said 99 or sometimes the group said 90. Um, what is your birthday? Ah, 90, 92. Hmm, is that correct? 
All no. right. So the correct year will be 1992. All right. Be careful. It's the same with this one. Where is the pronunciation of this number? 16. 16. And this one? 50. 60. Exactly. 60. So be careful with the pronunciation of the numbers. Um, I know that it's kind of difficult to remember everything. So that's why we need to practice, practice, practice. What is the pronunciation of this letter? R. R, very good. I listened to some of you saying air, and that is not the one. It's R. R. Very good. Okay, so we already practiced spelling. So please, everyone, be careful. Be careful with that. So what is more difficult? To, uh, to get the name, the telephone number, or the birthday? What is the information that you felt more difficult? Uh-huh. What mm. less Tomas? What is more difficult to catch the name, the phone number, or the birthday? The birthday. The birthday, okay. The date? Mm. Uh, I don't know to say in English. I the date. Speak ah, all right. So that Para is. Decir la fecha, uh -huh. so nos ocupan los número ordinales, sino los números cardinales. Por ejemplo, primero es first, no es that's, one. That's a very good point. And I was about to mention that. So remember, we have specific numbers here. And that is something, I don't know if you remember, creo que esto debieron verlo en el nivel uno o en el nivel dos, if I'm not wrong. So when we say the date, we don't say, for example, um, February 1. No decimos así. No decimos February 1. Decimos February 1st. ¿Ok? Or February, no decimos February 2. Decimos February 2nd. ¿Ok? Those are the numbers that we use. En esta práctica les valí que algunos me dijeran uno, like one or two, but remember the correct one is this, okay? So that is something that we need to remember. If you don't remember this topic, we need to review again. Volvámonos al cuaderno de allá del nivel uno, okay? So let's practice. Um, well, we don't have more time for this activity, but please everybody practice. Honestly, I send the link. So if you have free time, generate fake name and try to continue practice, okay? Now, imagine that you go to an interview, okay? In the interview, in English, they will ask you, hey, what's your name? Um, what is your birthday and what is your telephone number? So you have to be able to answer those questions very fast. Now, if you are in an interview for a job, what else? What could be another question that they can ask you? What do you think? What could be another question? Any idea? Um, the location. day, the location, the like your salary. address, uh huh. Salary, how do you say salary? The salary, uh -huh. the salary, um, the schedules or the uh, for the availability, uh huh, availabilities. Okay, then, what else? Any other idea? Do you think that they can ask you about job experience? The occupation. The occupation, very good. Experience, work experience. experience. Where did you work, right? So we are going to check a reading 
Vamos a practicar. Let's practice a conversation. All right. And in this conversation is an interview. So we are going to see what's the information that they are asking. So as always, I will need volunteers for reading. So who wants to read? Me. Me, okay. teacher. Thank you, Abigail. You will be Blanca. Who else? Another volunteer, please. Abigail, Oh my gosh. <laughs> That's a good question. ¿Por qué no leen las dos? Vaya, para que no problem. <laughs> okay. Oh. Okay, let's do something. Abigail ponía... Uh, es que es cierto, oh my gosh. Okay, Mejía, you are Alan. Ponía, you are Blanca. Okay? Okay. Good, thank you. Go ahead. Okay. What is your social security number? It's three four five six three two four five. How do you say el young medio? Um you can say just dash. Dash. Seven eight six Five, four. Okay. When were you born? I was born on July 1st. Where did you work? I worked in Molsa. What did you do there, sir? I was the evening manager. When did you work there? From two thousand five. Five. Ah, uh, five. <laughs> to twenty eleven. Do you have a university diploma? Yes, I do. I have a BBA. Do you have any chronic medical condition? Yes, I do. I have hypertension. Hypertension. Okay, thank you. Hypertension. All right. Very good. Excellent. Thank you, girls. Thank you for reading. Okay, imagine this interview. What are the questions that they asked? First, they ask for the social security number. In English, every time that we say numbers is one by one, okay? Now, in an interview, we can ask, when is your birthday? But also we can ask in a different way. For example, when were you born? ¿Y qué estoy preguntando ahí? What is the question here? When were you born? Cuando nací. Exactly. How can I answer? Pay attention because I'm going to ask you exactly the same questions to you, okay? When were you born? Ah, I was born on, and then you say the month and the day. And of course, you can add the year. Ah, on July 1st, 1980, for example. Or uh, on July 1st, 1985, I don't know. So you can say the year. Then what is the next question? Uh -huh. Where, Where, did, you work? Where did you work? Exactly. So we are talking about the previous job. Uh, I work in blah, 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 blah. Then, what did you do there? It means the job that you did. Ah, I was a supervisor or ah, I was a secretary. I was a front desk. I don't know. So you explain what you did. Look, when did you work there? We are using the time expressions. Ah, I work there from ta-ta-ta-ta-ta 
to ta, 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 ta. so you can use the time expressions and do you have a diploma or a university diploma do you know what is the meaning of this bba any idea no no Okay, this is a Bachelor of Business Administration. So basically, this person has like in Spanish, like como una licenciatura en administración, right? That is the La meaning maestría. of... Um, basically, it's licenciatura. When we say bachelor, basically, we are talking about that, como una licenciatura, okay? So BBA is a Bachelor of Business Administration. And the last question, do you have a chronic medical condition? What is the chronic medical condition? Hypertension. Do you have anyone a chronic medical condition? Impartation. Very good. Hypertension. Can you give me another example of chronic medical condition? Mm, how do you say azúcar? Diabetes. 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 And that is one of the most common ones, right? So you, you can say, yes, I do. I have diabetes. Okay. Or I have hypertension. Or I have cardiac problems. I don't know. Or allergies. Yep. Uh huh. Mm. La presión, cuando padecen de la presión. Is this dice? one, hypertension. That is the one. Ese es cuando hablamos de la presión arterial, hypertension. How do you say ansiedad? Anxiety. Anxiety. And that's another Anxiety. one. Mm -hmm. Anxiety. Anxiety. All right, so look at the questions. Now we are going to practice them. Let's imagine that we are on an interview applying for a job and they will ask you the same questions. When were you born? Where did you work? And what did you do there? Then, do you have a university diploma and do you have a chronic medical condition? Okay, we are going to practice those questions. I'm going to send them on WhatsApp's group. And remember, the idea is to practice the topics that we just learned. So try to use the structure, try to use, please, the um, time expressions. I'm going to send it on WhatsApp's groups. Give me one second. Okay, let's see, let's see. And remember, I want to everybody participate, please. Now, with these questions, we are not going to complicate so much. With these questions, aquí sí vamos a usar nuestra información real. I'm saying this in Spanish to avoid confusions. Okay, so aquí sí vamos a contestar con la información real. So if I'm asking you, when were you born? Digan su fecha de nacimiento real, okay? No problem. Aquí no vamos a generar fake name. Everything is real. So I already sent the questions on WhatsApp's group, everybody. So check it out. And let's see, let's see, let's see. Okay, I'm going to create the teams. Give me one moment. Um, important, if somebody is in a group that nobody is answering, let me know so I can switch you to another team. Okay, for this activity, we got like five minutes, so let's go to work. And no Spanish, please. Thank <laughs> you. 
Hi, Atilio. Uh, I start the questions. Yes. Uh, when, when were you born? I was uh, born. I was, perdón, uh, please. I was, um, You la no. James, James, así se pone. James, seven, seven, nineteen, seven, two. Repeat this. <laughs> Okay, first remember month. What is the mm. month, Atilio? Moment, moment. Uh -huh. Let's start with the month January, February, October, December. Now, now. It's, uh... Okay, how can I say? June, that's the one. June. Uh -huh. June. Okay, perfect. June. Ya tenemos el month. June. Okay, now, what is the day? Seven. Perfect. June, seven, year. Nineteen seventy two. Nineteen seventy two. Nineteen seventy two. Nineteen seventy four. Nineteen seventy four. Seventy four. Ah, all right. So nineteen seventy four. So yeah. you got the date. Very good. So if you see, don't complicate too much. Month, day. Year, simple, yeah. very good. Okay, Month year. Month exactly. Year. Now, how about you, Tony? When were you born? September 8, 1975. Okay, everybody take note. And Carla, how about you? I'm working I at August. August. August uh twenty-seventh. Uh-huh. Uh, 90... 19? 19, pardon, 1991. All right, very good. <laughs> Excellent. So everybody answer the first question. Now everybody answer the question number two. Go ahead. Where did you where did you work? I work Clara El Salvador. Uh... Okay, uh huh. Tony and Carla, next question. Where mm -hmm. did you work? Back. Uh, this is not the present, this is the past. Yes. The last, the last work. Mm -hmm. You had to tell uh, me the previous, the, the previous, previous job. Work. Exactly. And that case is not clear for you, Atilio. It's Pepsi. Or PepsiCo or Mariposa or I don't know what is the name. No, Butterfly. But, uh, <laughs> <laughs> ah, oh, very good. Molsa. 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 Ah, yes. Okay. All right. <laughs> very good. So yes, is the previous job. Uh huh. And you, Tony and Carla. I was, I only write it, I was worker, worker, 
in malls. Okay. Uh, Carlita, where did you work? I was work in the place named Multimod. Uh, what? What? <laughs> <laughs> it's a little I, a store. Mm -hmm. uh, store? It's a little business. Uh, what is the name of the of the of this enterprise of this company? <laughs> Multimod. 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 Mot, multi mot. Uh -huh. Okay, all right. Uh -huh. uh -huh. In English. Okay. Uh, Pro uh -huh. It's made in sound. <laughs> okay. All right. So. <laughs> okay, how about you, Tani? I was working in Telefonica. Okay. Now, very good, everyone. Be careful with that sentence. It's not necessary the verb to be. I was worked. Mm -mm. We say just, I worked. Okay? I worked. Only that. It's not necessary the was. No, it's not necessary. Mm, okay. Mm -hmm. I work. I work. Exactly. Um, okay. Next okay. question. Continue, please. What did you do there? Um, assistant manager. <coughs> manager assistant. Can you repeat? Manager assistant. Do you have a university diploma? Yes, I have a diploma in Busing Administration. Busing Administration. Business. Business. Do you have a chronic medical condition? <laughs> I no have um, chronic medical condition. How do you say gracias a Dios? Thank God. <laughs> but I like sleep much. <laughs> That's that's your chronic medical condition. <laughs> Gra gravísima. ¿Cómo, how do you spell gravísima? Serious. It's very serious. serious. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay. All right. Teacher. Yes. ¿Y cómo se dice gracias a la Virgen? Uh, you can say just Virgin. Thanks to Virgin, to the Virgin. And you can say the name. Uh, es que... O lo había oído como se decía gracias a Dios, pero no gracias a la vida. Yeah, you can specify. For example, imagine if you want to say Virgen María, right? So you can even say the name. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Okay, everybody answer all the questions. Yes? Yes. Eh, Ezequiel, falta. Ah, okay. Oh, yes. Okay, interview to Ezequiel, please. Sorry, Miss. You, yeah, you have to answer the questions. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
<ríe> te dio risa. Ok. Karen, you, you ask uh, a, a Jose? Yes. When were you born, Jose? Um, I was born, um, I was born in Sasori. Uh, February 4th, uh, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, uh -huh, 19, 19. It's correct? Yeah. <clears throat> Where did you work? Um, my previous work, um, it, it was around three years ago in, um, uh, it was in a restaurant. The number of the restaurant? Um, La Boca. And say you, you can uh, start the other career, and I agree. And I stay and, uh, and I started in this time the industrial engineer, I studied for four years, then and I stopped again for the for my work, and four or five. Years later, uh, my boss said, uh, Jorge, you have started. I need it. And I agree again. And I start in this time uh, the um, administration and I started for three years, but okay. never, never finally. Okay, okay. Okay. Three career. Yeah. <laughs> Half <laughs> career. Half career. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And do you have the intention to finish one of them? Yes. Yes. Um, for example, in this moment, I talk about with the university because he has the, the new career. Career. And is major su, su engineering is um engineering for the confection. Uh, in my in my case, I work in this area all all life, and I like this career. And oh, probably okay. probably the next um the next um year. I start again. Do it, yes. So do it. You have to graduate and finish your okay. mayors. All right. Okay. Nice. Very interesting. Okay. okay, everybody, time's up. We are going to go back to the main room, okay? Okay. okay. Very good. Okay, time's up. Time's up. Let's go back. We are going to wait for the rest of your classmates. All right, all right. Let's see, let's see. Let's go back, time's up. Okay, how did you feel the questions? The questions were easy to answer or a little bit difficult? What do you think? How was the practice? Uh-huh, easy or difficult? Easy. Easy, nice, very good. Uh-huh, and the rest of you, how did you feel the practice? Uh-huh, 
Easy or difficult? In my case, it's, I think easy. 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 easy? Okay. Yeah. Very good. Very good. Easy. Easy? Okay. Did you list, well, did your classmates use full English? Yes or no? Yes. Yes? Yes. yes Great. Yes. That's the idea. Did your classmates answer the questions using um, time expressions? Yes. Ah, very good job. Very good job. Did your classmate say correctly the year? Yeah. Yes. Okay, very good. Very yes, good. All right. So that's the idea. With the practice, we will get in better. Okay. Super good because I was listening a lot of details. Great job. Did you listen, guys, um, to any medical condition, like chronic medical condition in your classmates? No, only 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 drink a lot of coffee. <laughs> ah, okay, all that. So you are very healthy, everyone. Nice, very good, very good. Okay, look. Two persons. Ah, okay. So, but look, if you drink coffee, you will get better. Okay, you will get younger. <laughs> Truly, believe me. Look, details that you have to keep in mind. Um, when I was listening to some groups, the first question is, when were you born? In that question, we have the verb to be, right? When were you born? I have the verb to be here. So if in the question, we have the verb to be. In the answer, we use the verb to be too. So, I born, hmm, do I have the verb to be here? Not really, no. right? No, I was, so, was born. Exactly. We need to say, I was born. Now, I'm not sure if you remember, but when we say the date, we cannot say in. What is the correct preposition? On. on. Correct. On. When you say the date, you have to say on. So the correct answer will be, I was born on January 10th, for example. Then, the next question says, um, where did you work? Do I have the verb to be in this question? Uh-huh, do I have the verb to be? Yes, it's did. Mm, did is the auxiliary. Yes. Work. But uh-huh, I don't have the verb to be. Right, so if I don't have the verb to be, in the answer, I don't need the verb to be. So in the answer, ah, I was worked in Simang. Mm, not really. Was is not necessary. We will say just I worked. Okay. Sure. Yes, Tony, in, go ahead. In the, in the date, January 10th is January 10th with the TH to the end. Exactly, 10th, mm -hmm. correct. So everybody be careful with this. If you have the verb to be in the question, we can use verb to be in the answer. But if in the question you don't have the verb to be, so don't include the verb to be in the answer. Now, another question, if I ask you, um, do you have a diploma, for example? Can I say, yes, I have? Is that correct? No. What is the correct one? Ah, 
Yes, I do. That's the correct one. Very good. So I'm going to interview you. Let's see. I'm going to ask randomly to someone to apply for a job. And I'm going to do it with random names. Let's see who is going to be the lucky one. Um, let's see. Okay, I'm going to pick someone. Can you see the screen? Yes. And the winner is Jose Marvin. Okay, Marvin, are you there? Hi, teacher. Okay, Marvin, how are you? I'm doing fine. So tell me, when were you born? Uh, I was born in October uh, 2nd, and 18, no, uh -huh, 1885. 18? 1889, are you sure? 18 or? Oh, no, 15, 15, uh, 1589. <laughs> okay, like this, 1985, like this? 89. Oh, like this, 1989. Nine. Yes. yes. Ah, okay. Very good. Very good. Okay. And tell me, where do you work? Uh, I work in the Simam. Okay. Cool. What do you do there? Uh, I am in, in a specific area. Uh, uh, Uyuma Research. Oh, all right. And when did you work there? Uh, I worked uh, from um, 20, 2010 to now. Ah, so you are still working there? Yes. Ah, okay. And do you have a university diploma? Yes. Uh, I I am um I am bachelor in ET. Mm, sounds good. And do you have a chronic medical condition? No, no I think no. Okay, sounds but good. I so... don't know. I don't I don't check with my doctor, but I don't know. <laughs> okay, I hope you don't. <laughs> Very good. Okay, thank you, Marvin. So very good job. If you see Marvin answer the questions kind of fast. Very good, very good. I'm going to pick someone else. Let's see who's the winner. Remember, imagine uh, that you are in a real. Teacher, I chose, uh, one, I, I chose the next uh, Oh, you want to choose? Yes, go ahead. Yes, Edwin. Edwin. I choose Edwin. Okay, hello, Edwin. Hello. <laughs> How are you? Fine. And you? <laughs> I'm great. Thanks for asking. <laughs> Tell me, Edwin, um, when were you born? Uh, I was born uh, on May 2nd, 1988. Oh, all right. And let's see, where do you work? Uh, I worked at Almacenes Iman. Okay. What do you do there? Uh, I'm a developer. Okay. And when did you work there? Uh, uh, I worked from night uh, 2013 uh, 13 to for this example uh, 2021 20, but uh, 
I work now in Alma yeah, at Almacenes. <laughs> so you are still working there? Yes, yes. All right, okay. Do you have a university diploma? Uh, yes, I do. Uh, I'm a system engineer. Mm, okay, it sounds good. And do you have a chronic medical condition? Uh, no, I'm not. So you don't? Yes. Okay, sounds good. Nice for you. Very good. Thank you, Elgin. Very good. So everybody pay attention. Imagine that you are the boss, okay? Will you give the job to Edwin and Marvin according to the way that they answer? ¿Los convencieron o no? ¿Creen que los contratarían? Will you hire them? Yes or not? Oh my God. Yes. yes. <laughs> Actually, <laughs> they did good. I mean, they answer fast, they provide the details. So, yeah, actually, they did a good job. Very nice. Okay, another one. I want to interview to ta -ta 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 -ta. Karen Rocio. Hello, Karen. Karen Rocio, are you there? Hello. Okay. Hello, Karen. How are you? I'm very nice and you. I'm great. Thanks for asking. So tell me, when were you born? I was born on um, 26 November uh, 1988. Okay. And where do you work? I was in I worked I were in in Pulsa. Okay, what do you do there? Mm. Repeat please. What did you do there? For 90 year Mm, okay, but the question is what? What did you do there? I mean, salesperson or assistant, secretary, or what? What did you do there? In previous work? Uh huh. Um, assistant. Mm, okay. And when did you work there? Uh, actually. But when? Since uh, or since 1999 or for mm -hmm. five years? When did you work? For there? nine years. Oh, that's a long time. Okay. And do you have a university diploma? Yes, I am uh, using uh, administration. Business administration. Mm -hmm. Yes. Sounds great. Do you have a chronic medical condition? Mm, no, I. You no. don't? No. Okay, congratulations. Nice for you. Very good. Thank you, Karen. Very good, very good. So remember, everyone, in these questions, we are talking about the previous job. Okay, not the ones that you have right now, but it has to be the previous one. Okay, now, easy or difficult to answer these questions? What do you think? Si este fuese una evaluación, así, speaking, <laughs> what would be your grades? ¿Cuántos se sacarían? What would be your grades? 10? No? I... <laughs> Oh my goodness, five. <laughs> and the rest of you? Seven or... <laughs> okay. So imagine everyone, that's the idea. I want you to evaluate yourself. So practice these questions. And if you feel that, ay, a mi me cuesta el, la fecha, okay. 
that is the topic that you need to practice more. If you think, I know for me, it's very difficult to talk about my previous job. Okay, that is exactly what you need to practice more, okay? This is your extra mile. That is something that you have to do. I can help you. We can have practice here in the class, but that extra mile is yours, okay? Now, before I continue, I'm going to check attendance again. So if you listen to your names, please say present. Let's start with uh, Abigail Mejia. Present. Thank you. Andrea Amalia Garcia. Atilio Ernesto. Present teacher. Blanca Elizabeth. Eh, Carlos Alberto. Present Miss. Thank you. Celia Cristina. Present. All right. Henry Alberto. I'm here. All right. Jorge Antonio. Present teacher. Okay. Um, Jorge Jonathan, Jose Ezequiel, present teacher. Thank you, Juan Antonio, present teacher. Okay, Juan Jose Herrera, present teacher. Karen Rocío, present. Okay, Carla Sofía, present. Carol Elizabeth, Kenia Elizabeth, present teacher. Lady Xiomara. Present teacher. Okay. Luis Miguel. Present. Present teacher. Okay. Nelson Orlando. Present. Okay. Um, Salvador Ernesto. Sandra Abigail. Present. Stephanie Michel. Present teacher. Jancy Kelita. Jose Marvin. Okay, thank you. Jose Marvin. Present teacher. Thank you. And Edwin Enrique. Present teacher. Excellent. Very good. Okay, please, those questions that I sent you on WhatsApp's group, practice them. Okay, one day suddenly in the middle of the class, I will tell you, guys, we are going to practice the questions and I will interview you just to see that you don't forget it. Now, the objective for this class is not only to be able to answer the questions, but to fill in out some jobs applications. I know that we don't have a lot of time, so maybe this activity we are going to finish it tomorrow. So. Can you see the presentation? Yes. 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 Thank yes, you. Okay, this is an example of some applications. This is uh, in your manuals in the page 16. So imagine that you are going to fill out this employ, uh, this joy job uh, application. What is the first thing that I need? Uh huh. Today. Exactly. We need the date. Okay. Can you give me the information in English, please? Two. February second of night of twenty twenty three. Ah, very good. February second, and then the year, right? Very good. Remember, in English, we start with the month. Okay, invent a position. Imagine that you want to be... Technical support area. Boss okay. Of the, boss. <laughs> the boss of the boss, the CEO. <laughs> okay, the top. Now, name. With the name, no problem, right? You got the name, for example... Uh, Clarissa, right, and the last name. Okay, very good. Then, what is this? The address of where do you live, right? So, what do you think? What is the first 
things that I need to mention in my address? A street. Very good. You can tell me the streets and then. Avenue. If you if your address has an avenue, you can say it. Also, you can say the name of the city, right? And in our case, the department, right? So what else? We need the telephone number, very easy. Imagine if I ask you, male or female? I'm talking about Clarissa, so where? Male or female? Female. Very good. Then we have date of birth. Again, we start with the month, then the day and the year. That is the order that you need to follow. Gotcha. Social security number. Um, in our class, we are going to invent, but what is this number? What do you think? What are we talking about here? Social security number. What is that? The number of ISSS. Exactly. Remember that normally, right, when you go to a job, they need to know this one, right? Because they are going to discount a certain amount of money. So you can you need to provide the number. Now, let me ask you, do you have a driver's license? Yes or no? Yes. Yes? yes. Pretty good. Okay, so this is one of the first parts of the application for employment. It's very easy to fill it. Easy? Yes or no? Yes? Yes. Now we see the second part. The second part is basically about the employment history and the education. So here, basically, we need to think in the past. For example, normally we have three options here. What do I need to put in date of employment? What do you think? What do I need to put there? The previous job. Very good. We need to think about the previous job. So in the date, we can put the year. When did you work there? So you can say from, for example, uh, 2015 to 2019. It's just an example. A name of the company, I don't know, Adidas, for example. <laughs> the address, you can say like San Salvador. The job title, you can say that you were, I don't know, an assistant. And the duties, what do you think? What is the meaning of duties? What is that? The better? Very good. So the actions that you did there. So you can say, for example, ah, I sent emails, uh, I helped my boss, I make phone calls, and so on and so on. Okay, easy. Now, educations. And here, I'm going to take just one minute because we don't have more time. In the education, there are some vocabulary that we need to keep in mind. For example, if I studied high school, what is the academic degree? I have a high school degree, okay? So if I finished high school, I have a high school degree. If I went to university, and uh, I finished the university, I have a college degree 
or a bachelor degree. That means bachelor is specifically when you have five years studied that we normally called la licenciatura. When I finished the five years of university, I can take a master. That's what is that in Spanish? Master's degree. ¿Cómo le llamamos a eso in Spanish? Un master. Master. Good job, exactly. Or we can have a postgraduate. What is that? What is a postgraduate? Postgraduate. Very good, exactly. And if you finish a master or if you finish your postgraduate and even though you want to continue studying, so you can get a doctoral degree. What is that? That is the highest level. Eso es lo que más podemos estudiar, right? Un doctorado. So those are some of the most common academic degrees. This is important when you want to complete the education information. But that is something that we are going to complete tomorrow, okay? Tomorrow we are going to take some minutes of the class to complete that because Unfortunately, we don't have more time. Now, before leaving, remember, there is a winner. One of you has to stay in the class so we can talk some minutes. And the winner for today will be, well, let me see if he's here in the class. Da -da 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 -da. Congratulations. Congratulations to, um, well, I cannot see this person. Okay, Celia Cristina is here. Celia, Celia. Sí, sí. Yes. Yes. Okay, <laughs> Celia is the winner. Very good. So the rest of you, everyone, you can go and relax. Try to have a good night and see you tomorrow. Don't Very forget bye. to work on the platform, please. See goodbye. You see you tomorrow. Bye. See you tomorrow. See you. Goodbye. Goodbye. Goodbye, only Celia stays. Okay, <laughs> I don't know why they're still here. Hello, Celia, how are you? Hello, good evening. Good evening. Okay, this little meeting is just to uh, answer some questions that you may have about this class or about the program. So, I don't know, do you have any question? No. <laughs> Everything is right clear? Now? Yes, I, I think. <laughs> okay, how is the platforms going? Have you worked on the platform? Yes, I work. Um, Unit one, finish. Uh, okay. Okay, let me mm -hmm. see. I'm going to share the platform and I can see you got Celia, Celia. Yes, I can see you have worked. Remember yes. that we need to get at least the 80%. Okay, mm -hmm. so, mm -hmm. so for tomorrow, try to finish the unit number one. So I need to upgrade the grades. Okay. Okay. Very good. Okay, how did you feel this class so far? Easy, difficult, or 50-50? What do you think? 50-50. What is the most difficult for you? Speaking, listening, grammar? Speaking. Speaking. Okay, let's do something. Let's practice the questions that uh, we practice in groups. So let's see, when were you born? I was born in on April 30, uh -huh. in 1987. Great, very good. And where did you work? I work in Iraq. And what did company. You, okay. And, and what did you do there? I I am a lawyer. 
and I pray. I um, how many registro marca? I'm sorry. Registro marca, ¿cómo se dice? Oh, registers the brands. Registering for the brands. Brands. Mm -hmm. Okay, sounds good. And let's see, when did you work there? I worked since 2011. Okay, signs. For <laughs> okay, just be careful because you said uh, signs. What is the pronunciation of this word? Scenes. Scenes. That's the one. Scenes. <laughs> Excellent. Okay. Well, you have a, a diploma, right? Yes. Which um, university did you study? Uka. Okay, very good. When did you study uh, in UCA? Uh, from 25 to 2010. Okay, very good. Do you have a chronic medical condition? No, very right now. <laughs> <laughs> well, I hope you never suffer any yes. medical condition. <laughs> okay, Celia, very good. You are answering the questions in a very nice way. Excellent. So just be careful with the pronunciation. All right. And mm -hmm. so far, so good. I can see you are doing a great job. Okay. Now, okay. Um, any other question, comments that you may have? No. So, so far, so good? Yes. <laughs> Excellent. Very good. Okay, Celia, keep going. I hope to see you tomorrow and keep continue participating in class. Okay? Okay. See Very you tomorrow. Good. See you tomorrow. Good night. Good night.